All right, peace, peace, y'all. Can't stop, won't stop. Always down from the tippy top. I'm sorry, I came up with that off my head. Y'all know I ain't got no sense. Anyway, peace, peace, y'all. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's get right into it. Um, Today is March 8th. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day, all that and all of that. Now listen, one of the main reasons why we are being um, come up, uh, people are attempting to come up against us during this time is because of our own issues. And usually all of our issues always have to deal with abandonment. We can always go right back to abandonment when we're trying to deal with certain issues and certain problems. Now, why is that? Why is it that abandonment, excuse me, that was my alarm. Why is it that abandonment is uh, the true key to unlock our door to, to freedom or at least understanding and, and forgiving our abandonment is because that one thing will cause a domino effect and it will ruin all other areas of our life. And I'm sure you completely agree with this, right? Now, um, as far as like how to heal it, you got to understand where it comes from. All abandonment usually comes from our parents, you understand? Um, usually our biological parents, for those of us who are adopted or in foster care, you know, kids or whatever, if children are watching this, I wouldn't be surprised, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's from our parents. And we have to understand that we, we can't hold on to abandonment because it will bring us down. And we also have to understand that we were never abandoned. We, I've, I've gone over this in previous videos, but the love that I have for all of us, I feel like it's important for us to go over this again because we have to come out, right? Once we come out, we can see things a lot more clear. You were never abandoned. You understand? Nine months. Nine months is is nine months is a, is the typical time for a woman to carry a child. Nine months is a very very long time, and during that nine months, if you were not aborted then that means the mission was complete and the mission was just to get you here right think about you know you having to go to school or go to work or wherever you have to go um whether you want to go or not the hardest part is just getting to the car getting to the train getting to the bus stop because once you do that you can the rest is easy you know you can really go on autopilot the hardest part is just getting out the crib where you're comfortable and getting out of your comfort a comfortable space right see that's similar to birth see they just need to get us here once we're here nobody got you but the most high creator and that's just on period and the reason why this is the case is because everyone's human no one's perfect. We are all flawed and we are all doing the best that we absolutely can. So just getting us here, that shit was enough. You were never abandoned. You see, these things, these emotions, they come up to, to us to give us experiences. But we are separate from our experiences. And this just helps us, you know. Your mama could have threw her ass down a, a, a bunch of steps and said a mission accomplished. And you wouldn't have had a chance to get here to complain. See, what I'm trying to do is help you understand that the only, the only entity in charge is the most high creator of all things. And nothing else. Okay, and you have to understand that you are part of a picture and you can't let the negativity, even in your own life, even in your own paintbrush, fuck up the big picture for yourself. You know, so getting over abandonment, getting over that feeling of you being left for dead, left, left, left. It's just the hurt that we've gotten from our birth parents. You understand? And you, you have to get to, you will get to the point where you're not going to have any other option. You're not going to have any other option but to reach down in that bag of forgiveness and pull out every trick that you that's in your book. Every trick. Because eventually, you're going to be tired of being fucking tired. And although we don't want each other to get there, we know sometimes we have to get there. So I guess I'm just trying to give you a quick roadmap. Now, if you want to throw that roadmap in the back seat, you know, or throw it in wherever, that's your, that's on you. But I care. And I know that talking about spiritual attacks and all of that is 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 pointless if you're not giving over, getting over the fact that you were never abandoned. You were never left for dead. You were never left alone. Because that 
that fear right there, getting rid of that, you that's just you, that is you making a molehill out of a mountain. And the only thing left to do is to just to just to just is to leave that molehill alone. But I am glad we had this talk. We'll go a little deeper, but I really feel like going deeper past this is going to be shallow. And I don't want to be shallow. I really, really don't want to be shallow. Because going deeper than this thing, but, 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 but nothing. We have to understand that our parents are real people doing the best that they could, making the best decisions that they could. And the best decision they ever made was going through with giving birth to you. You take so much for granted. The embarrassment of this realization, toss it out the window. You don't have to be embarrassed. We're all going through it. We all had to come to terms with this. We all had to realize that getting us here was the motherfucking gift. We all had to come up with that. So you're not alone. So you being embarrassed is a waste of time. Come on out. Come on out. You were never left for dead. Because anything that left you, all it was trying to do was test you to see if you were still thinking of yourself as being abandoned. It was just trying to see where you are, gauge where you were. Right? Because we we always fail to realize that whatever test we fail, it comes back. So when that abandonment test comes back, don't look at it like I've been abandoned again. Look at it like now this is my chance to not feel like a fucking loser. Now this is my chance to get up. Now this is my chance to notice the sadness, to notice the lack that I feel because I feel abandoned and go the other way. Now is your chance. And that's how you have to use opportunities that want to make you feel low or make you feel bad. You got to say, now is my chance to rise above it all. Now is my chance to not let this take me out. See ya on the next one.